Hi guys, good morning and welcome back to the Philippines Bantayan Island. Hi. Hi. So, welcome back to our Asian Filipino family vlogs uh, here from the province in the Philippines. And uh, currently we are already on the way to a little road trip on the way uh, to some place we haven't uh, been there before but i assume that the, uh, it's very nice in there to walk around and then as you know that um if you're from the philippines as you know that now it's a uh, uh, extremely high heat here uh, like i think it's historically in all of its first time like this mm -hmm. mostly we're not uh, we're trying not to go out of the house when it's like daytime because it's really hot even all the schools in the philippines are being cancelled and children are learning on uh, remote education learning online so we decided just uh, today is a good day not so hot but still sunny so we decided to uh, go to explore our island more to the places where we haven't been to so let's go let's see what we will find today all the darkness in my mind pain that i can't leave behind i know there's a silver line that i can't see all the cold and sleepless nights running out of ways to fight I know there's morning light in my reach if I keep buying time So also what I like about uh, roads here in Bantayan Island that they're always so beautiful and so peaceful likely like, given that island vibe it's so like nice peaceful and beautiful don't know why maybe it's a location of the island but it's always so windy even if it's very very hot in, at home or somewhere like when you're not moving but every time we're using the bike it is very windy here. If somebody is going to islands in the Philippines, like province islands, I will highly recommend to take the bike for rent because it's really like different experience unless you will just drive a car or some uh, tours uh, in the van or even tricycle. But if you can, yeah, it's a um, different, totally different experience in the Philippines with a um, bike. So guys, we're already driving around 30 minutes and then I think they're almost in our destination. So first we will find some uh, cafe to take out food so we can um, walk in our Parco Bay walk. By the way, this is farm. There is so many farms here. Yeah, let's go, it's fine. So many chicken farms. So I think that this area, by the way, we're in the municipality of Madridejos now, I think already entered. It's all farms. So I think their main um, industry is poultry and farmlands. I think this is the most quiet municipality that I have ever seen in the Philippines. It's really very quiet and peaceful. See, I'm surrounded by banana trees. So many banana trees. It's like all the road is full of banana trees and then houses like left and right. So it's very local, very local uh, village road. So we already ordered some food we will just uh, cool down here we decided not to take out but to eat uh, in the cafe because it's very very hot i think it's like middle of the day and then it is very hot like we cannot even breathe <laughs> so we will eat something really quick and then go for a walk what did you order love a burger, so steak. A burger steak and me and Mikhail same oh, yeah. chicken, chicken, katsu. chicken katsu yeah and a drink something to drink fried and then the price is for each um, dish we paid 90 pesos I think 100 on them and then how is the burger steak uh, it's good it's good yeah. well cooked mm -hmm. yummy that's nice and the rice is yellow. so chicken katsu and then it's very delicious I already tried it's like soft and there is um, a sauce then there is rice some cabbage salad and then I got the um, ice Cafe latte. Is it real coffee? Like mm -hmm. good. So yeah, the, the coffee is uh, coffee maker, not syrup. So uh, this is very nice place. Like we will go later to walk on the uh, bay walk, and then it's very convenient location. And then my husband Daryl he brought milk tea. I think this is first milk tea we met now in this whole place, like in the outskirts of touristic areas because 
Und dann kann man hier raus die Flavor. Das ist gut. Same sind äh, in Cebu. Das mit drei. Medium. Mm -hmm. The same flavor as before now with that one. Milk tea in Cebu. So guys, we're done with our lunch. It was very, very delicious. So this place, I will show you. There the logo. Now we're searching where Papa will, can park our motorcycle so we can walk a little bit. It's called Maalat yeah. Bay Walk. And it's so uh, smell here so good, like fresh ocean smell. And then the water is so beautiful, it's high tide now. So we'll go for a walk. I still have my iced coffee. So we will check. I feel cute and I feel happy. There must be something wrong. Cause it's been way too long since I feel cute and I feel happy. I don't know what to think. Cause you were making me a bay walk, it's called Ma a lot. And it's like just a big stretch of sand with boats and then there is some little bit like this bay walk construction. So guys, I want to show you the water. There is a lot of boats. Look how deep this water is just inside. The locals, the local children are swimming because it's so hot there. Mm -hmm. Then we will hop on our bike and continue our... Be careful our... because I think there's a lot of broken glass here. Continue our road trip. The, the ocean is very beautiful, love. I don't know, it's like... Reminds me of Moalbo Island, Cebu Island. There is a lot of uh, parked, I don't know, it's not abandoned, someone's there just parking here the boats. So if who is not watching from the Philippines, this is how the typical Filipino boat looks like. It's called Banca. Banca, right? It's called Banca and they all have this unusual unique construction, which I saw only in the Philippines. Only Filipino boats. Oh, look, it's newly, newly repaired, no? Only in the Philippines they're doing with this thing. It's called, how it's called? Wings. No, it's balancing, balancers or something like that. So even if it's far away deep in the ocean, it's still helping the boat not to sink because it's balancing on the uh, waves. It's very nice construction, very unique. It's only in the Philippines. So even the big giant um, boats, they're having that uh, things. I already experienced it before. So we're just walking here along the road and then it's very uh, small road seat, very narrow just like that road here in the provinces but it's like oh nice there is like uh, some it's like a ship look it's, they made it like a ship construction so it's now middle of the day already uh, i think 1 30 pm so it's very uh, really very hot now so we'll uh, ride back from the madridejos municipality going down um, we're going home but we will try to stop over if another uh, spot just to uh, visit something else while we're in the, on the road trip and then yeah let's see because i think it's very nice uh, some kind of park so the locals as a friend they always say hi motorcycles it's so nice so we arrived in the next um our stopover but we don't know if we can go there because it's looking so I think that this municipality is the most quiet of all and then my son falls asleep he's sleeping and this is just an empty, empty silent place like what empty road all these roads here like this narrow so there is like a lot of beautiful trees so we found this place on the way back to the, our Santa Fe uh, city in um, other part of the island so we found this place to stop over it's called Kodia eco park i will insert here the name and then it's nice here very peaceful you know so quiet there is like a lot of flowers here some constructions some cute different stuff like this look like this bicycle so nice they made i think it's like the entrance is 20 or 30 pesos i don't remember but it's like very cute handmade stuff this is i think made from bottle i think it's the locals of this uh, brand guys they made this eco park to support their financial <laughs> finance flow so yeah it's quite cute oh there is even there is mangroves oh so it's mangrove it's like a mini mangrove park like the tourist attraction in um santa fe which is ob 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 
mangrove eco park i will show you now i am so excited i didn't know that there are mangroves here in the bamboo bridges i thought it's like a uh, park like with flowers trees but there is also apparently that so nice Mikael, your favorite no so this is like mangrove um bridge bamboo bridge in the mangrove place same reminds me of the ob ob mangrove eco park but that one is big one and crowded with tourists but this one is just empty it's only us here now so this is the bridge bamboo bridge i'm walking now on and mangrove trees so i'm surrounded by mangrove trees but there is some water there is a water and then it's so shaky so i'm a little bit worried how to walk but i think it's safe looks so cute here shells no nice little bit of oh so beautiful here it's like little veranda to sit to relax like this wait i will check if it's safe mm so good it really feels like home it's so peaceful here just to travel around in this island always we're finding new spots it's like no matter how you explore the island there's so many small hidden uh, spots just for peaceful family bonding you know, with friends i really like here because like we didn't even know about this place we just saw it because we were uh, checking the map how to navigate going home and we saw this uh, tag in the map so we just came here and decided to explore so i think there is much more to explore in bantayan island which is not uh, so crowded not uh, very popular to tourists but it's still very um, beautiful and worth visiting so, I will check with my husband and my son. They went somewhere very fast because my son, he's so adventurous, baby. He loves, he loves to explore. It's short and I'm very tall, as you remember. Who is new to my channel? I'm six foot or 183 centimeters. I'm very tall for here, and then sometimes the constructions I'm always doing like that everywhere I'm walking. Interesting. Where is my husband and my son? I cannot see them. Love, where are you? I don't know where are they, they are gone, but I'm alone here and it is, I feel two mixed emotions. First, it's very peaceful and quiet and I can hear how the water even touching the mangrove roots. And second, it's a little bit like eerie, I'm like alone in the middle of the forest. So adventurous. I'm really uh, feeling like, um, I don't know, if to stop and to close eyes and to listen to all of the sounds of the water and the trees are cracking very peaceful oh i found them they're very far wait we will go to them now oh so beautiful oh my god this is so beautiful it's like the lake and then there is i will show you now it is very i didn't expect to see this it's like um how you call it on english it's like lake but going to the ocean it's very beautiful guys who is coming to bantai and take bike in the rent motorcycle and please come and this one it's less crowded than ob ob but it's very peaceful it's like i think lacking of a beer <laughs> it's like really lacking of beer because i will show you now what i see the view it's just only us here it's so silent i'm sorry if it's very cracky because <laughs> the construction i'm walking to like this so yeah it's shaky a little bit but it's it's safe it's safe totally like veranda and then i think that really next time if ever but if we're not driving, you should bring the beer, no? Mm -hmm. to drink beer. How do you do yeah. Nice! Because there is an apple. And we can apples. I think the difference is sleeping now is very hard today. Mm -hmm. Just 
set in my mind a pain that I can't leave behind I know there's a silver line that I can't see All the cold and sleepless nights Running out of ways to fight I know there's a morning light in my reach If I keep buying time Go. Apparently mangrove trees have some sorts of uh, sprouts or what I don't know it's like maybe flowers It's unusual the first time seeing this. It's very nice looking beans All right, so we're on our way to the exit of this park and we are going to uh, Hop on a bike and then we will find some sari sari because I'm so thirsty <laughs> Some drinks and this baby is naughty and not listening <laughs> Let's go Let's... All right guys, so we're already in the house. We just recently came home. So the time is uh, five 5 p.m. and then I didn't manage to uh, film already on the way I'm going back because my son fell asleep again and then I was holding him so it was uh, not comfortable for me to make some videos so on the way home we were just driving directly already so tired so total thing today it was almost six hours on the road on the bike we didn't expect it to turn out this way but it was very nice nice experience so i really love uh here how many opportunities in to explore in the philippines like no matter how you plan you can still accidentally discover new spots new places and it is so amazing to me like i um, yeah, cannot stop um being surprised by different spots here and of course i love it so much about the philippines and the road trips here in the uh, province and then for dinner we just bought a uh, chon manok grilled chicken and that's it we'll go eat dinner soon with my son because husband already went to sleep he's working at night so yeah it was his time it really was an expected turn of events today but um, i'm very happy anyway guys again i wish you good night and uh, stay safe everyone i mean that's heat who is in the philippines and i hope this video you enjoyed especially if you're uh, watching from abroad you saw some philippines uh, some glimpse of the philippines today so i'm very glad if you like my video and please stay tuned for the next ones and i'm very happy to see you here bye, bye. <laughs>